Hello and welcome to our tutorial on the 3D animation software called iClone. First, from our website or from any other website, just go ahead and go to Google. We'll just get to their webpage that way. I forgot my name again, but uh, my name is John Overwine and I work for the Office of Instructional Design and Distance Learning at Northern Kentucky University. That's why we're at the homepage here. Uh, anyway, go back to Google and just type in iClone. Here we see what we need at the top here. Just go ahead and click on that. And this is Real Illusion's website for iClone. They, they're the creators of it. Um, you can't see much in our browser because we have our browser shrunk for the tutorial. But uh, if you just scroll around a little bit, you can see uh, the prices for this thing. Unlike a lot of the other software we do tutorials for, iClone is not free. But you can get a free trial just to try it out. So there's your prices right here. Let's go ahead and go to the free trial for now. Click on that. And then you can download the versions from two different places here. Um, there's also some system specifications you need to worry about with iClone that you don't have to normally worry about. Being that it's a 3D animation and rendering piece of software, you need to worry about your graphics card. There's also other system requirements that they recommend down here. And you can see those just by scrolling through them. I'll let you read, the, read over those yourself. But the graphics card one is definitely the, a big, big deal. So just pay attention to a lot of, this thing, a lot of these things down here. Anyway, go ahead and download it, and you can even follow the installation instructions that they show you here, and then open the program. But I already have it open, so I'm just going to switch to that window. This is what you should see when you open up iClone. Um, may seem pretty complex, but there really aren't too many things to it. First, uh, this icon up here is the project icon, and this one here is the avatar icon. Or avatar yeah, icon so you click on that to go anything to do with the avatar which is pretty much the character you see on the stage there the one we have loaded up is just the default one that it shows so you can choose from a variety of avatars just by going to avatar and there's already a bunch of people you can put in there let's go with the man or the male hero here just double click on that or just click on the guy and hit apply and it should show up so now we have a guy in armor there you can, you can modify anything to do with your avatar with a bunch of different things that they have loaded in. Uh, if you click on hair here, you can choose from the different types of hair. Just give them whatever you want. So by double clicking or just clicking on and hitting apply. Go to upper body. You can choose from a variety of upper body items we have here. Let's take a shirt, take his armor off. Now he's all ripped. Over to lower body. And you can do this for the rest of the whole body. You can add accessories, change the color of the skin. But that's just one of the things you can do here. You can also change by switching to the head area here, the head toolbar. You can modify the face. You can even load in uh, your own face, but I'm not going to show you how to do that right now. This is just a basic overview. So you can go to, you know, eyes, teeth, throat, all this good stuff. Also, you can change his animation. Right now, the animation is set to the basic one. So if you go down here and, and hit play, you're going to see him kind of idly breathing, not doing too much, right? But if I hit stop and I go to animation up here in the animation menu, you can see a variety of animations. So let's, let's go ahead and hit, let's see here, where's a dynamic one? We have run here. This should be pretty interesting. Go click on that, and there he goes. He's <laughs> off and running. Let me go ahead and stop on that one. Let's click the other one if I remember right, because... There we go. Let's try this one. Yeah, he runs in place. That's something you can pay attention to more. So there we have that, and you can change that just once again by double-clicking on the animation or clicking on it once and hitting apply. Let me go ahead and stop him there. So you can choose from a number of different things here. If you want to actually edit the animation, that's where it gets a little bit more complicated. Um, but we'll talk about that here in a second. This is the scene, so if we want to go and put something behind them, you can load in your own, or you can just use the ones they have here. Let's just go click on the clouds. I'm going to click on that and hit apply. Now he's running in the clouds. Let's put him in this dungeon looking thing here. More appropriate. There we go. And the lighting effects are in here, as well as a 3D scene. If, here's a 3D scene. Let's go put that in there. Tons of things here. 
So you can also add props in, which are just things that you can add in. I think we have purchased some props from their website, from iClean's website. So that's what you see here probably. You can also change camera angles um, and, you, and the lighting effects. And then after you're done setting up everything you want, you can also export through the export menu. And you can export an image. You can even export video by clicking on video, image sequence that you can import into things like Flash, tons of things. So that's generally the menu. You can browse through just by clicking on this and then looking in the toolbar here. So avatar, here's all your options. Head, here's all your options. Animation, here's all your options. Scene, here's our options. And export, there are all your options. But what I'm going to show you how to do really quickly is how to um, edit the animations. So if you go into animations again, and if you go to modify, you have to click on the motion editor here. So you edit the motions in an, a separate application, but it opens up just by clicking on this. So if you click on that, I'm going to go ahead and open it, just one of my other tabs, because I already have it open. And you now see the standard uh, basic animation that they had before when he was just breathing. So if I hit play, you can see the, the model here just breathing slightly. And it goes through the entire timeline here of him breathing. You can see all the different frame numbers down here. So I'm going to hit stop. Now this is where it gets more complicated. In order to make your own animations, there's a lot more to it. You have to move the model around. And I'm going to show you just slightly how to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and right click right here. Let's see if I can... No. Let's just move this animation back. If you go to the end of an animation, like right here, you can just click on it. That's just a left click and then drag it forward. Give me some open frames here. So if I just go and insert current pose, that'll give me the pose that he's already standing out there. And if I have this pose, this is where I can actually edit what it looks like. If I go up to the edit button, and click on that, I can now actually move the X, Y, and Z coordinates of that specific body part. So I have his head selected there. Looks like I have his torso selected there. If you want to, if you want to turn the entire character, you just click on this midsection here. And I believe, let's see what happens if I turn it. Oops, turning him the wrong way. I'm going to hit Control Z to stand him back up. So I'm going to go over here, and we're going to try, what's Z do? See, that's turning him that way. I don't need that one. There we go, turning him around. So you can move him however you like. If you want his arm to be moving, go click on the arm. If I can get that arm, there we go. I believe the shoulder will turn the entire arm. So here he is, his arm raised here. So that's just one frame. Right now, if I were to play this, it's going to slowly transition from the one new pose that I just made to the motion that he was doing before, which is just the idling motion. Let's go ahead and play that by clicking on the first frame and hitting play. So there he went. Already went from his hand up to down. That's pretty much all you need to know for a very small motion. But you can com combine other motions as well by cutting and adding another motion in that's already in the library here. So for instance, let's go this motion here so we can find a normal motion. There's a female walk here. And since we already have this idling motion, I'm going to move it back slightly just by clicking on it and dragging it. I'm going to go to the end of this motion and drag it back a little bit. Oops, looks like I missed it. I'm just going to keep scrolling back. Actually, I can zoom out on the timeline a little bit so I can get the whole thing in there. Go down there. So let's play it and see what it looks like now. arm lowered and he's idly breathing. So let's go ahead and insert another motion. Let's go ahead and grab this walk female, which is a female walk that we have. Drag it down in here on the timeline. So now we have the idle breathing motion and we have the, the female walk. Now he should transition. This little blue bracket here means that it's transitioning. So let's go ahead and play it again. Breathes a few seconds there and then starts walking. And it'll keep looping until I stop. Now, if I wanted to make this something that I can actually use an iClone, all you need to do, I would suggest saving your project. So just go to Save Project As. Save it somewhere where we have a few other different things there. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this as Idle 
underscore walk. So save that for, lets me know it's saved. And then go back to file and hit export to iClone. And then just name it this way too. We'll put idle and walk again. Save, and it'll automatically, I believe, oh, okay, I put it in my, its own folder. Okay, anyway, it should load it right into iClone here. So it breathes, and then starts walking, like a female, even though he's, he's hanging out in armor. And it'll loop that animation twice for right now, I believe. And then it stop. So that those are the basics of animation in iClone.